Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're going to take a deeper look into the Woodhaven line of log racks for firewood, and we've got it all coming up. If you're anything like me, this is the time of year where we get around Thanksgiving and Christmas and I start thinking about getting outside and using my wood smoker. Now I have pellet smokers, I have charcoal smokers, I have gas grills, pellet grill, all, all different types of grills. But what I find is around this time of the year, I really start thinking about using my wood splits to power my smoker. There's nothing like the smoke ring that you can get on a brisket from really a split of wood that's put into an offset log smoker. Now, in order to be able to use an offset smoker that has wood as the primary fuel source, you need to be able to have wood close by. And in our case, we live in the suburbs and it's hard for us to be able to source wood. We don't have enough trees in our backyard to cut down. We either have to have it brought to us or we have to go someplace and get it and bring it here. Now, once it's here, though, we have the problem of where do we store it? What do we do with it? And so I find that I don't use my offset smoker that's powered by wood splits as much as I want to because I don't have enough wood nearby. Now to solve that problem, we actually are seasoning about a rick to a rick and a half of cherry wood and we're doing it here on the Woodhaven log rack. Now I wanna tell you a little bit about this log rack. Now, first of all, it's made in the USA. And so I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of products that are made in the USA. And this product is made out of 16 gauge steel. Now, when you start looking at the various grills that we review here on the channel, there aren't many grills that are made with 16 gauge steel. They're made with the, the higher gauges, 25 and, and up. And so to 16 gauge steel, we're talking about an actual thick, weighty product that's meant to last a lifetime. And that's something that they actually say with the Woodhaven is that this is meant to be the last log rack that you'll ever buy. So I got the Woodhaven log rack in the mail and I enlisted some great help from my smoking buddy, Ethan, and we were able to put this thing together. And let me just say that in putting this together, it is one of the best built log racks I've ever seen. Uh, they say that it's precision drilled. Well, absolutely it is precision drilled. As we went to line up the screws to the different holes in the, in the rack, everything fit like a glove. It was super tight, nothing wobbled on it. And it's unlike what I usually experience when I'm put, trying to piece together a flimsy log rack. This is a far cry from what I'm used to in a log rack, and I gotta say I'm really pleased with it. One of the benefits to using a log rack for your smoking wood is that it's gonna keep it off the ground, and that elevation is going to help it stay away from mold and mildew and decay. In addition, one of the things I really like about this is that there's open airflow from each side of the log rack that can keep seasoning the wood that's on there. And so if you've ever tried to store wood for any amount of time at all, you know that mold and mildew is really not great for smoking wood. And access to airflow is what helps keep that away. So I really like this. And even the cover is built to be able to allow that kind of airflow. You'll notice that the top of the cover here is only one foot tall. The one foot tall cover means that you're leaving three feet of exposed wood on the bottom of this rack so that it's continuing to season and air can get in and out and back and forth. That's helping those logs season as well as keeping the top one foot of wood dry for use. Now, when I'm smoking a brisket, I might have a 12 to 18 hour cook, depending on the size of brisket that I'm looking at. So I might need a split every 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to go through maybe 12 to 18 pieces of wood in a cook like that. This rack will more than keep dry whatever I would need for that kind of a cook. The cover also has elastic straps that go around each vertical support of the log rack, helping to keep it safe from wind gusts. Now we live here in the Midwest and it's not uncommon for us to see gusts of 40 and 50 miles an hour. And in the time that we've used the Woodhaven, we have yet to have the cover blow off for any reason, even with significant wind. So I love the straps that are built around each of the vertical supports to keep that cover secure. There are also grommets throughout the cover that allow you to be able to secure the cover even in the most dire of wind conditions. So if you actually need to secure this even further, those grommets seem really secure in that thick canvas fabric and I wouldn't worry about it blowing away with that extra security. 
Now, we mentioned earlier that this is 16 gauge steel. Now, this is 16 gauge steel that's also welded at the factory. So you're looking at 16 gauge steel that's welded into a tube shape at the factory, and the caps are even placed into the end at the factory as well. I've seen many log racks where the caps come in, you put them on separately, and they come in and out very, very easily. These caps are actually stuck on there really well. They're not coming off anytime soon, which just adds to the heft of the product and the feel. Even the nuts and bolts that you use with the Woodhaven are stainless steel, which is going to keep rust and corrosion down over the life of the product. I love the fact that they've even thought of things all the way down to the hardware to make sure that this thing lasts you as long as it possibly can. The Woodhaven even comes with a lifetime structural warranty. So when they say that you're buying this for life, this is the last wood rack you'll ever need to buy, I think they mean it. Now the Woodhaven comes in multiple varieties and it comes as short as four feet and then it goes four, eight, 12, and 16 foot varieties of this wood rack. Now we have the 12 foot variety behind us and it's said that it holds three quarter cord of wood. Now, usually when we start talking about firewood, we talk about it in the rick. And so first let's talk about the difference between a rick and a cord of wood. A rick of wood is four foot tall by eight foot wide at a depth of 16 inches. That's a rick. Now a cord of wood is four feet tall by eight feet wide by four feet deep. So you're talking about four foot of depth. Now they say that this can hold three quarter cord because if you think about it, four foot by eight foot by say two foot log in, in uh, length, that would actually give you half a cord. And so we have three quarter cord by adding that extra four feet on. So depending on what your needs are, you can hold all the way up to a full cord in 24 inch log lengths in a 16 foot wood haven. Overall, I have to say that I'm absolutely thrilled with the build quality of the Woodhaven, and it's just not moving. It's not going anywhere. You can shake on the top of the rack and it doesn't move. It just doesn't go any place. And I think it comes down to the fact that it's using really heavy steel and it's a welded frame. The frame is not just bolted together, it's welded together on the ends, and that adds to the stability. So if you're looking for a wood rack that can last you a lifetime, I think this is it. This is the best that I've seen or encountered, and I gotta say, I'm looking forward to getting a lot of use out of this, as we're right now seasoning the bottom rick of cherry wood on this rack, while the top is already seasoned cherry. So we can use the top bit of wood on the rack on the smoker, while the bottom two thirds actually seasons over the seasons to come, which I'm really excited about having wood whenever we need it for the smoker. So I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Woodhaven Fire Rack. And if you do, check out the link in the description below and we'll make sure to point you to the place where you can find one for yourself. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We put out reviews all year long on outdoor living and outdoor cooking gear. So you make sure that you buy the right thing the first time and don't waste your time and your money with those that just aren't for you. So thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you soon and thanks for watching.